Good morning everyone. So I made a video about the shroud and today I want to talk about the folded napkin and the meaning behind this. Now when Jesus was also buried in the tomb, there's a folded napkin that they usually put over the face on top of with the linen over the body and the face. So what is important about this is that, which I'm going to put the verse up there so you can actually see it, is about how when they entered the tomb, the cloth that covered his face, the napkin, was in a separate area folded up. And the linen was crumpled up on the side. Okay, so this is very important because I'm going to tell you a story about back in the day around that time. So the Jewish, the Jewish servants... Um, used to serve their masters and set up the dinner table and have everything prepared for them. They used to put out the plate, the food, and then the napkin folded up right next to this um, master. So the servant would step back and wait for the master to be finished eating. He would wait for two different signs. The first sign would be if the master wipes his face with the napkin and then crumples it up and leaves it right there on the either on the table or the plate and just leaves it and then gets up. This was a sign showing the servant that he was completely finished with his meal and he can um, come and clean up after him. Now, if the master folds the napkin and puts it on the side and gets up, he's showing that the servant he is not finished and the servant knows not to dare to come and even touch the food yet. He'd just sit back and wait for the first sign. So what's very important is, let's go back to the, um, uh, the scriptures of Jesus, is that when they entered the tomb, the napkin was on the side folded up. So this is showing us that Jesus is not finished with his mission. He is coming back. So I thought that was pretty amazing. I want to jump on here and share that with the people that don't know about that. Now we'll put the verses up in um, the video so you can actually go check it out in your own Bible and read about it. God bless you guys and take care.